The J.J. Pickle Building in downtown Austin, Texas, completed in 1964, is best known for its most famous occupant, President Lyndon Baines Johnson, who had offices here during and immediately following his 1963 through 69 presidency. The LBJ suite occupies the west end of the ninth floor of the building and looks out over the Austin skyline towards downtown and the Colorado River. Once simply known as the Federal Building, the site was renamed after J.J. Pickle, United States Representative from the 10th Congressional District of Texas and close friend and mentee of LBJ. The suite is historically significant for its role in the Cold War discussions. On December 6, 1966, LBJ and the U.S. military leadership met to discuss and formulate the United States stance towards the Soviet Union's anti-ballistic missile defense system. These discussions laid the groundwork for the first agreement with the Soviet Union to limit nuclear weapons. The Strategic Arms Limitation Treaty, also known as SALT, was later signed by President Richard Nixon in 1972. The building was also the site of numerous press conferences and presidential functions. For example, a Medal of Honor ceremony was held in the plaza to honor Sergeant Robert E. O'Malley for his service in the Vietnam War, the morning before the talks. The LBJ Suite is also historically significant as a well-preserved example of a mid-century modern office. The layout of the 1960s space for white-collar workers as compared to offices from the 1950s was more informal in arrangement. Offices were no longer factories for paperwork only, but were also spaces of comfort, meant to be flexible and multi-purpose. For example, the suite's living room area is composed of small, movable pieces of furniture such as the settee and several easy chairs. Historic photos show that LBJ and his visitors rearranged the living room furniture frequently, turning chairs to face one another in discussion. This flexibility supported the president's style of doing business, complementing the disarming armchair nature of his approach to politics. The designs of the 1960s are also known for experimentation, incorporating playful patterns and geometries as well as a mix of contrasting materials and colors. Some examples from the suite include the pink purple rhythm armchairs and the iconic floral patterned green and blue chair with matching ottoman. The highly saturated textiles of the furnishings pop against the dark stained wood paneling of the suite. The design also reflects the influence of Asian inspired principles and motifs in mid-century design. The focus on horizontal linearity, the use of natural wood and copper, and the inclusion of the blue and white porcelain lamps illustrate this. These design decisions can be credited to both Max Brooks, the architect who selected the interior finishes in the space, and Gail Linky Moore, an interior designer with the U.S. General Service Administration, who likely had a hand in the selection of the furniture. The LBJ Suite's furnishings, finishes, and plans were left in place after his departure and preserved through the dedicated efforts of J.J. Pickle, K. Bailey Hutchison, and numerous building staff. In June of 2023, GSA completed a substantial conservation of the suite to protect the integrity of the items and furnishings associated with the Johnson's presidency. Through this effort, the space retains the look and feel of the suite as it was used and experienced by LBJ, preserving this piece of mid-century presidential history for future visitors and scholars for years to come.